James Norcross is working intently at his desk in the presidential mansion as his close companion, Jerry Sales, answers the emergency phone. It's that report from Indesia, sir. That freak invasion of locusts they're having has wiped out their entire grain crop. The estimate is that half the population will starve to death if they don't get help in a hurry. Right, Jerry. Inform the Prime Minister that we'll ship everything we can right away. Yes, sir. With news of the promised grain, the nation of Indesia rejoices. But in the secret headquarters of Hassan al-Batani, a brilliant but embittered scientist, a different mood prevails. That blasted meddler! The people will never support our revolution! The people will never receive that food! Prepare the machine! We are taking a little trip! Several days later, new national storage facilities at Gardnerville... Come, my little flying friends. Your dinner is ready. In the next few days, the vast horde of insects strikes again and again at the key mills and granaries where most of the nation's grain supplies are stored. Meanwhile, in the presidential mansion, Look at this map, Jerry. First, the locusts struck at Gardnerville. Then they moved here, and then here, and next, here. If they continue in that direction, they'll come straight to Port Edwards. That's where the Indesian grain transports are being loaded. Right. I've got a feeling that somehow those locusts are being controlled by someone who wants to stop that shipment. We better do something fast. We already have. No one knows it, but those ships were loaded last night. This is Port Edward, sir. The transports are loaded and ready to go. Come on, Jerry. I want to be there when those locusts arrive. sir. There's no sign of any locusts yet. It's completely deserted. But Sales is wrong. Hidden from the air, a jet motor launch lies silently in the foliage along the shore. Gone. The grain ships are gone. I've been tricked. <laughs> well, I have a few tricks too. What's that? A scouting plane. Well, I'll give it something to report. Still no locusts. Maybe you were wrong, sir. Quiet, Jerry. Listen to that radio signal. There's a launch down there, sir. That must be where it's coming from. That may be what... Uh-oh. Look, Jerry. The locusts! There's millions of them! <laughs> They're getting in the exhausts. I can't control the car. I'm going to eject. Hurtling out of the car, Super President hurls himself high in the air, then streaks swiftly down after the out-of-control Omnicar. With a tremendous burst of speed, he catches it, guides it to a safe landing in a nearby field. But even as Super President is speeding in pursuit, the jet-powered cruiser is closing in on its objective. We have sighted the transports, Master. Good. Now they will learn their lesson. Man the cannon. We will blast them out of the ocean. There it is. A radar cannon. They're going to destroy the grain ships. I've got to stop them. Destroy that thing up there while I call the locusts. Good. They're aiming for me. But this time they're in for a little surprise. I better change my substance to vapor.
you might be behind this. Who are you? We'll discuss that later. But first, I'm turning off this machine. I don't think so, my mysterious friend. It is you who will be turned off permanently. Good shot, Albertani. You've done the job for me. I'll kill you for that. Don't count on it. This is where your dreams of power end, Albatani. He won't make any more trouble. But he will have plenty of time to plan his next evil plot in jail. Uh -huh. 